Nicola. We're back for the real estate ride of our lives, Neil. This competition just reached new heights. <laughs> With bigger challenges. Since the 2020s, so you spend so much more time at home mm. than you used to. Pushing homeowners to the limits. Having four adults at home is a challenge. We live on top of each other now. I just find I can't keep eyes on the kids. <laughs> the noise just seems to bounce around, making it hard for us to work. We need a resolution for both our sanity, I think. So, I'm working my magic. What we're going to do is this. Wow. To stretch budgets to the max. Don't panic. It's, it's a little, little scary. <laughs> and put the heart back in the home. I love this. This is amazing. Oh, my God. <laughs> I nearly cried. That's how amazing wow. it is. It looks beautiful. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> while I battle soaring prices to find affordable listings. This could be your new house offer. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> to tempt families to a better way of life. Imagine waking up to this every day. You're killing me, <laughs> Sold! <laughs> Thought I'd impress you with the car. We are head to head. Milk first, of course. For the ultimate showdown. This is an elegant room. Ceiling looks like custard. Oh my god, that's really creepy. I mean, it looks like you. I'm not saying I've got it in the bag, but I might just have it in the bag. Team, this is back on. To get Aussies the homes they deserve. Yeah. And on that note, shall we hug it all out? I've got. You know you I've got to get. <laughs> In this episode, empty nesters Paul and Karen are living the dream. I retired about four years ago. We decided to do a lot of travel and... Yeah, it's about us now. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Their house has brought them a lot of joy over the last 22 years. I'm pretty happy with life. <laughs> But Karen has itchy feet. She's tired of maintaining this big family home. We're slaves to the house, aren't we? So why should they spend their days cleaning a pool when I can give them an ocean in their backyard? The house is literally walking distance from the beach. But I can show them what's been hiding right under their nose. Oh! <laughs> That's brilliant! If it's between a skylight and a beach, I've got this one. Are you going to love it or are you going to list it? Neil and Andrew. What are we driving, Andrew? I mean, who are we picking up? <laughs> I think I think the car hire company thought I was bringing the family. I mean, we'd get my family and all your dogs in this. Yes, <laughs> and Ridiculous. the horse. Yeah. <laughs> Here we are in Wheeler's Hill. We're 25 k southeast of the CBD. It does feel like quite a way out, I have to say. Yeah. And we have got magnificent views of the Dandenongs. God, that's used half of the oil reserves of Saudi Arabia just getting up this hill. Wheeler's Hill. Yeah. I knew there was a reason it had hill in the name. <laughs> but I'm this... not just a pretty face. No, you are. Real estate wise, house prices, freestanding houses you can get for 1213. Mm -hmm. Very family orientated. Yep. yep. It's got that kind of vibe. Mm. But there are some big houses here. Look at them. Interesting. Let's talk about the homeowners. Right. They are similar age to us. 40s. Yeah. Early 40s. Yeah. <laughs> And I understand that they are empty nesters. So what you're trying to say is they're rattling around in probably quite a big house. They need to move, Neil. It's never as simple as that, though, is it? We have got to listen to their story. We've worked hard for a long time. Now we're on that next path. Let's party, baby. <laughs> Karen and Paul attest to the adage, opposites attract. He's very grounded. I'm quite excitable and fiery. He's very objective. He's non-judgmental. He just accepts you for who you are. <laughs> He's the love of my life. It's a successful formula, and Karen's sense of adventure has kept them on the move. Karen and I met in Queensland, and we lived as far north as Mackay, the Sunshine and Gold Coast, then by New South Wales, a country town, and then kept going south and went up in Melbourne. Wheeler's Hill, to be exact. They thought it was the perfect spot to raise a family. The house is actually quite big. 
It doesn't look it from the street, but when you look at it from behind, it's a two-storey house. Yeah. What we have is a really well-built home in a fantastic neighbourhood, something, you know, quite, quite lovely to live in. But having raised her family, Karen's ready to move on. This year was going to be the year of fun and adventure. I want a new journey. I want a new lifestyle. While Paul is already in his groove, I write and play in the band, which I'm very happy with. With the writing and the music and that, every day is full. He doesn't even mind the maintenance. I suppose one can find musical inspiration cleaning pools. That big garden, the pool, which it's not lock up. It's, yeah, and I look after the whole of the house. Paul concedes their home isn't perfect. A bit of privacy would be nice. When you open the front door, you can see straight through to the bed, which is ridiculous. The bedroom off the living room is a major issue. Even though it's a fairly sizable house, we live in a really small space. It feels constricted. You agree with that? Yeah, I, I, I do. I totally agree with that. I'm always on the real estate websites looking for alternative properties all the time. But I can't even get Paul out of the house to even show him something to I even saw one. open wait a minute. I saw one. Uh, open <laughs> his eyes to what options are out there for us. Moving to the beach would be good for you because you used to do the surfing and I know how much you used to say it would cleanses the soul and that. So I think that's a good option for us. But Paul seems to have left behind those days of carefree adventure. I'm on Team Love It because I think we have a beautifully built big home in a lovely suburb, a great yard, pool, a view. It's just finding that magic ingredient to fix that one problem area. I think underneath that, there's a really good house waiting to be exposed. And it's obvious I'm on team listed. <laughs> the family's moved out. It's a big house for two of us. It's time for us to go wherever that may be. As long as we're together, I want my partner in crime with me. In our house? <laughs> no. <laughs> Help. It looks quite small from here. No. Nah. Oh, blimey. It's a long way down, Neil. I'm scared of heights. Oh. Well, we're here. Hello. Hello. Hi. Beautiful suburb you guys live Thank in. You. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, absolutely beautiful. Thank you. It's the suburb Cam wants to leave. Yeah, well, it's miles away from anything. Yeah, but that's, right. Right. <laughs> that's right. That's right. That's right. Can we have a look inside? Absolutely. It's unlocked. Help yourself. Well, thank you so Off much. To you, Neil. All right, and we're off for a drive. See, See you later. later. Yes, bye. Come on, then. This house sits on a whopping 863 square metre block. With manicured gardens and a pool, it's hiding a lot of its size out the back. The bottom level houses a large living space, two bedrooms and a huge full bathroom. On the entry level, there's two bedrooms, formal and informal living, a dining room, kitchen and one and a half bathrooms. There's no hiding it, this is a lot of house. Wow. Presents well. Obviously, there is a view and there's quite a nice deck out in mm -hmm. the back. I like it. I don't dislike it. It's dated, but it's in immaculate condition. Yeah. Should we uh, carry on exploring? I think we should. Who doesn't like decorative balls on your table, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Personally, I love a bell. Oh, I agree. OK, so more living area. Mm. Kitchen's clearly not original. That has been done at some point. I mean, more living area, but again, very small living area. I mean, this, this feels like a cottage in here. I bet this is either a media or a study here, because it looks like ah. they've separated this bit off. A hidden door. <laughs> oh, there you go. Oh! Oh, you'll never believe this. Wow. It's a bedroom. And so close to the living room. I mean, the only thing that suggests that anyone sleeps here at all is the slippers. <laughs> yeah, I thought you'd left yours behind. <laughs> OK. This must be a guest bedroom. But as a guest room, it's got a beautiful outlook. 
And it's got its own balcony and it's got its own ensuite. Strange layout in this house. Is, don't you think? Well, this is sort of messed it up for me, yeah. layout wise. Let's go and find the rest downstairs yeah. now. Oh, it's a serious lower level. Wow, another living space. Another guest bedroom. Full bathroom there, big one. Good sized bedroom with guitar. Right, so. Loads of space down here, Neil. But strangely unused, don't you think? I reckon you're right. I think they live in that kitchen living space. So unless the master bedroom is in here... No, that's a laundry. It's a laundry? Yep. The room that we thought was a guest bedroom is actually the master bedroom. It's a, it's a very strange layout, this house. That can't be the original layout, surely. I mean, Karen and Paul are obviously incredibly house proud. You know, home matters a lot to them. Mm. But at the same time, it feels like this house is crying out for a rethink. Yeah, and there are a couple rattling around in it. So, you know what, Neil? They need to move. Come on. <laughs> Why did I know you were going to say that? Leafy Wheeler's Hill has been a great place for Karen and Paul to raise their family. They bought this house for $585,000 22 years ago. Now it's worth an estimated $1.7 million, which makes this property a retirement gold mine, even if the layout is a little bit odd. You've never extended or altered this house, have you? No. 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 So the bedroom and the bathroom off? It's like... It's like they forgot about a master bedroom and yeah, then tacked yeah. it on as an afterthought. So you didn't just have no. two bedrooms down and says one up here and you made mm -hmm. that? No. No, we've tried to hide it. <laughs> well, <Yes. laughs> so, so the layout of this house is exactly as it was when it was built? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I'm presuming you hover around this bit like a giant one just bed. Just here. We live in about eight square metres. I've really got a sense of that. Yeah. we got a sense of that. It's a big house, not very well laid out, but it's a big house. What primarily is wrong with this house? What's making you want to leave? Um, you're on show in the bedroom. If we've got people over entertaining out there on the deck, if you want to go into the bedroom and get go changed... Oh, hello! I'm here. <laughs> I'm not tied to the suburb at all. It's time for so a, it's a real. It's a real lifestyle. Oh, absolutely, you. absolutely. It's it's time to have fun. What do you love about the house? It's a good house in a good area. We've got a lovely yard, fantastic views. I think it's a great house waiting to be kind of discovered. Yeah, there's a bad design feature up here in the top floor, but I think if that can be fixed, Karen will go, you know what, this is a beautiful home. What would I leave? Karen's shaking her head, I can see that. <laughs> is there anything that could be done to this house that would make you feel differently? Probably not. Really? Oh, I, love, I really like it. So it really is very, very So hang on, Neil. My turn to ask a question. Oh, sorry, sorry, yeah, sorry, Because, sorry. Paul, what could get you out of this house? You. Yeah, apart from me. <laughs> Something that I suppose is a different lifestyle, maybe? What floats his boat? What gets him excited that you can't get in Wheeler's Hill? Can't get surf. <laughs> mm, proximity to the ocean is a little distant here yeah. in the suburbs. Yeah. yeah. I think you need to move. Nailed it right on there. You there. there. <laughs> yeah. Not Nailed. so fast. No, you we're two. off. Not so fast. No, yeah. you two. That's it. <laughs> Should we start talking budgets here now? <laughs> okay. You go first. So, what is the renovation budget? We're thinking around 130. 130. Okay. $130,000 might seem like a lot of money, but this is a big space and it's going to eat up cash. I need to show them they have more than a bed sit here, and that means some structural changes. Obviously, I'm going to have to give serious thought to what can be done for 130, but leave that with me. So you'll be extending out the back, putting a mask. I said, leave that with okay, me, fine. Andrew. Mm, that's a lot of money. OK, and the more important, because that's kind of irrelevant, that just helps us sell the property, what is the budget for the new property? 1.9. OK, where? Anywhere but here. Probably closer to um, water. Um, I just want to get out of here and have a great lifestyle. We're close where coffee shops are. You can just sh shut up shop and go. This is my kind of challenge. Somewhere close to water means pretty much all of Australia's coastline. The hard bit will be staying under budget, so Karen and Paul have some spare change for their retirement adventures. 
OK, so you've got about 130k Renault budget, and I've got around 1.9 to spend for a lifestyle change. Yeah, there we go. Let the uh, battle commence, Neil. The best it is going to be a battle as well. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a battle. <laughs> Paul and Karen are looking forward to an idyllic retirement, but they can't agree on where it should be. We have a really well-built home in a fantastic neighbourhood. I'm pretty happy with life. It's <laughs> time for us to go wherever that may be, as long as we're together. Karen's like a teenager, eager to leave home. Down the beach, somewhere by the water. Paul is also like a teenager, happy living in the garage. Our house can still deliver a good lifestyle for us. Um, <laughs> I can see. <laughs> One thing they agree on is a better lifestyle. So my team and I have come up with a solution I'm pretty sure will work. We don't have the beach, but we can unlock a beautiful vista within their house. Now, I know I'm going to have my work cut out with both of you. Karen, I'm looking at you, though. <laughs> <laughs> Meeting you both, I got a strong sense that it is a lifestyle change you want. And I guess my job is to show you that you can have that lifestyle change without actually moving. It's possible. Sure. But I, I, <laughs> I also know that at this early stage, I'm going to have to say, just stick with me. So you told me that you, you kind of live in a very small area yeah. of upstairs. Yeah. OK? Yeah. So I'm going to focus everything on this level of the house. Okay. That's where the $130,000 is going to be spent. OK. We're going to do a big switch around. So, okay. so this, this becomes the sleeping end. That becomes the living end. I love it. I'm converting their rarely used formal living room into a huge master suite with a new entrance from a light-filled hallway. They'll also have a big walk-in robe and new ensuite. The plumbing here will up the budget slightly, so I'll need to persuade Paul and Karen that the luxury is worth it. This, where we're standing now, is going to be your master retreat. I can't see it. Well, like I said, <laughs> just stick with me, yeah. because the journey doesn't stop here. So the fun continues in here, OK? Hey. OK. In a house of this size, you should not be confined to this small right. living space where, where you've admitted that you, you bump into each other all the time. Mm -hmm. I mean, I want to make sure that you guys are living your best life in this house, and you're not, are you, at the moment? No. 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 So, what has been your bedroom for the last 22 years yeah. is going to become the living room. The best outlook in their house was wasted on the bedroom. Now it becomes part of a spacious living area, flooded with natural light and distant views and no more peeking into the bedroom from the balcony. I think you'll find that once we've opened up this space and you don't have furniture in such close proximity to the kitchen, yeah. the kitchen's going to feel bigger. Yeah. But I want to open out this space so you've actually got somewhere to live properly. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, that master bedroom has got the best view in the house. Yeah. That's the million-dollar view. Yeah. I just think that switch around, I mean, it, it's, a, it's a fairly sort of basic thing that we're doing, but I think you will end up with a massive lifestyle change under the yeah. same roof. I can see that here. <laughs> yeah. Yes? But I cannot see that there. Oh, well, that's... <laughs> There's you a will. glimmer of light. You will. You will. But I do have to ask you both the question, can I go ahead? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Spose. <laughs> spose. I'll take, I'll take a spose. <laughs> I thought that chat with Neil went brilliant. Like, everything, the master bedroom, the back area, tick, tick, tick. Yeah, he did come up with some good ideas that we never thought of. I'm sure Neil's working out how to get a truckload of sand around the pool somehow. He really is quite creative after a few drinks, but when he gets wind of my plan, he'll be back to the drawing board. So, Andrew, what the hell are you thinking? You've got us in summer clothes. We're in friggin' Melbourne. It's freezing cold. <laughs> we're wearing climatically appropriate clothing for where we're going next. Which is? On a love it all list in Australia first. Yeah. At great expense, we're flying you, economy, to <laughs> the Sunshine State. 
of okay. Queensland. <laughs> As a Queenslander, some say I'm obsessed with the place. Man, they'd be right. Karen and Paul have a big extended family. So, what better place for a reunion than somewhere 10 degrees warmer than Melbourne? I'm bringing them to their old stomping ground on the Sunshine Coast, a bit north of Bris Vegas. Bedina is the kind of place Paul served before he became, well, old. The medium price three better here is just above 1.4 million. Queensland lower prices, higher temperatures. I give you beachside bliss. How was your how was your flight, by the way? I didn't see you on the plane. Were you in the back by the toilets? Yes. <laughs> That's right. In between the two families with the little kids. They're screaming. Anyway, you've got to admit, look, Paul. Yeah. He's in trouble now. Yeah. Yeah, this is pretty cruel. What's even more exciting is the house that I want to show you is, drum roll, the house is literally walking distance from the beach. From this beach, OK. Should you go and look? OK. This fully renovated property makes the most of its oceanside locale, with three light-filled bedrooms, two stunning modern bathrooms, and a detached studio for guitar practice. The 546 square metre block has meticulously manicured gardens, a perfect place for Paul to stash his new surfboard. I'm not going to say anything, but... Yeah, like, like that's not deliberate. No, <laughs> as if it's deliberate. Oh, here we are. OK. <laughs> nice, isn't it? That is. They have renovated every corner of it. It's like a brand new house. It's nicely done. It is nicely done. So why don't you go and explore, and I'll meet you out the front. OK. Off you go. Right, right here. Yeah. Everything in this sunny property is on one level. And there's enough storage to hide all the overcoats and umbrellas Karen and Paul won't need anymore. It's a decent size. Yeah. Walking right. I like that little, little seat yeah. area. This perfect coastal cottage has two guest bedrooms, a beautiful main bathroom, and a stunning ensuite. Ah, here we go. Okay. Mm. How cool is this? Outdoor shower. <laughs> the neighbours will like it. I'll get one look and then they'll no, be that would be <laughs> So there's a little deck. I'm not feeling that, Karen. Yay. Yeah. Yeah, overlooked. OK, I've overlooked the overlooking, but how about a music room, Paul? OK. Probably um, more of a little, yeah, study, little guitar studio. room. Little studio. Yeah. yeah. OK. OK. Hmm, Paul's a bit hard to read on this. Maybe the thought of breaking up his band is holding him back. So, I suppose, show me the money. Hang on. <laughs> I'm not revealing anything yet. First of all, how about this area? Karen, the brilliant. general area. Ah, brilliant. That's more like it. <laughs> Paul? Yeah, location's pretty good. OK, there you go. <laughs> what do you think of the house? I, if I'm honest, I'm not feeling it. I feel overlooked in the backyard and it doesn't quite vibe. So I will give you the answer to your question now. The price guide is 1.6. OK. This is an area that has rocketed in the last few years, but it's certainly settling down a bit, so you could find the next six to nine months could be the perfect time to join Team Listed and make the move to the sunny coast. So, <laughs> so worth, worth having a look? It is, and it's a dilemma for us because we've got family up here, family in Melbourne. It's actually quite cruel of you to bring us up here, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> I heard you're a bad man. And now I know <laughs> a why. very bad man. That's why I put you on the back of the plane by the toilets. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew's nailed the location. I love the Sunshine Coast. Well, that's a start. That's good. That's that's hey. good. You you're open. Uh, are you? Is this <laughs> living our best life, or in our house redesign and it's a beautiful home? Use your imagination. You can come and visit. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew just doesn't understand that you can have resort-style living outside of Queensland. And I'm about to show Karen and Paul exactly how we'll do it. With an extra bit of Melbourne sophistication thrown into the mix. So 
you're going to get us drunk I'm gonna to get bring you, over to that side. Get you drunk and then over to Team Love It, Karen. Yeah. That's how it works. Feels like a plan. <laughs> no, this is the exciting bit. I love all this. And, Karen, I, I know that you do too. So I'm going to start with the floor for the master retreat. That's nice. I like it. Yeah. Flooring, never underestimate it, because it is the first thing that the eye sees. I think it's the perfect choice for a bedroom. So that's the foundation. Yep. Now let's talk about the colours. This is the combination that we've chosen. It's the Mintaro Slate and the Dimba. The Mintaro Slate is that beautiful bluey grey colour. OK. Karen, what do you think? I, li I, love, I like that okay. colour, yeah, because that's going to match perfectly with the, the kitchen backsplash. Now... These are the tiles that I would like to use in the shower recess in the ensuite. They are nice. Brilliant. And I'd like to use them in conjunction with the main tile, just a very simple matte neutral. And then finally, that's the brushed nickel of your tapware. Like that? Yeah, I do like that. It's lovely. This is a really good choice with this palette. Mm. I think that's our style. Yeah, it definitely is. It is. Yeah. You like the yeah. Hamptons and it's kind of, that's our style. Yeah. yeah. So, Karen, what do you think? All for better for selling. No, I'll stop that. <laughs> I asked for that, didn't I? I agree with you. Yeah. It's also a very practical palette for resale. <laughs> yes. Okay? So, Broken record. So he's, he's coming over to this no, side. No, no, no one's coming over to your side. <laughs> All I can say, cheers, Karen. Cheers. <laughs> to team love it. Here's to loving it. <laughs> loving to list it. <laughs> I reckon Victorian wine can beat Queensland Beach. Team, 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 team love it. it. Team love it. Team love it. Team love it. <laughs> <laughs>I give you beachside bliss. When you want someone to up sticks and move, sometimes you have to be cruel to be kind. I heard you're a bad man. A bad man. <laughs> no, no, very I'm bad man. Who needs beaches when you've got Hampton's chic? That's our style. Yeah, it definitely is. Karen's not making it easy for me, but I'm well on the way to scratching those itchy feet of hers. <laughs> Cheers. 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 OK, I'll concede my under-budget Queensland beach home gambit wasn't quite the checkmate I was hoping for. But a good agent knows when to pivot. So I asked Karen and she said, try a beach closer to Melbourne and Paul's band members. I'm going to be pushing those buttons yet again. I think that sea and sand air was something a little bit appealing to you both. Yes. OK. okay. We're going to a nice little beachside suburb called Edith Vale. Oh, you okay. know, it's a pretty little place. I love the Edith Little place. beach huts beach. and <laughs> all sorts of things going on there. Edith Vale is an idyllic bayside suburb only 28 kilometres from Melbourne CBD. With stunning white sand beaches and trendy coffee shops, you hardly notice how cold the water is. The medium price for a townhouse here is just over 1.6 million, which might leave Karen and Paul some money left over for holidays to Queensland. OK, I'll stop now. I want to find a friend. <laughs> if only you had one. <laughs> I don't have in this car, that's for sure. <laughs> He's getting worried. Andrew. Oh, he is. But <laughs> I, I'm, I'm telling you, this house we're going to see now is so sweet. Oh. OK. This place is close enough to family and friends, but different enough for Karen to feel like it's an adventure. In fact, it's so special that I've arranged a sneaky peek before it has even hit the market. The keys. This property is not just beachside, which they love, it's also chock full of Melbourne sophistication. Four bedrooms, three bathrooms and an additional powder room, two or three spaces perfect for Paul and his guitar, and lovely low-maintenance outdoor spaces ready for those all-important family visitors. <laughs> Please come on in. I like this. It's not bad so far. Nice big hallway. Curious of what's down there. <laughs> Look at this for living. <laughs> yes. Wow. Now, please, take a seat on that sofa. I want you to soak up the atmosphere and see what it would actually be like to be in this living area. I'm overwhelmed. Are you? Oh, that's exciting. <laughs> it's quite nice, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it is, it is. It's quite a magnificent duplex. Down here, apart from this amazing area, which has also got a butler's pantry and a laundry down here, you've also got another occasional bedroom four, which would make an additional living area. 
W would you like to explore? Absolutely. That's the right Sorry. answer, so I'll leave you to do it. Um, I'll see you wherever. Off you go. OK. Hey. Here's a beautiful yeah, kitchen. Look at this. OK, it's a kitchen. <laughs> it's a lovely kitchen. Wow, this yeah. is brilliant. OK. This is good. I like that. Oh, look at this. I love that the stairs are lit. The high ceilings really add a sense of grandeur to this place. Well, that's your second living area. Upstairs has even more lifestyle to offer. Open plan, flexible spaces, a massive ensuite. Are you OK? <laughs> and walk-in robe. Woohoo! Check this out! <laughs> wow, 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 wow. That's yeah, that's awesome. pretty good. Boo! Oh, Andrew, hello! Ah. <laughs> Homeowner one and two, please join me. Where's the paperwork? Where's the paperwork? Exactly, exactly. <laughs> I, I'll tell you something. She's worked out where to put the Christmas tree. That's real commitment. It You're is. in real trouble. <laughs> <laughs> you need to start talking about figures. Price guide. Thoughts? Mm. Um, it's a duplex, so I think that would keep the price under control a bit. So I, I'm going to guess 1.95. So under two? Yeah. How about okay. you? I reckon probably around the same. Okay, yeah. the price guide is 1.65 to 7.5. Sold! <laughs> <laughs> We're so on budget. You're in such trouble here. Yes, you are. I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> time to message Neil. It's over. Like it's like four bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms. Look at these amazing floor. Portuguese granite top. Come on. We're here, baby. Yeah. Let's okay. go. Yeah, not so quick. Yeah. It's not bad. I'll, I'll give you that. <laughs> <laughs> Paul, step away from the glossy show home. I'm giving you even better style in your own property. With paint and tiles going on the walls, this house is giving hints of the Lux Hamptons lifestyle they've been dreaming of. Please let Karen love it. Oh, wow. Oh! <laughs> Holy heck! <laughs> That's really cool. I don't think you'll see a better house than this, Karen. <laughs> it's I your, my all your judgment. dreams come true. That's great. Welcome to your luxury Hampton style retreat. Yeah. It's a bit of a change, huh? Yeah, this is brilliant. To have a master suite that has now got this gorgeous bay window, fireplace, the two gorgeous stained glass windows and a window over there with window seat, it, it's a move on from the old bedroom, surely. Oh, yeah. Oh, You've got to was, agree. That was Hell small. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> that wouldn't take long to do that. Like, it's to do totally, that. Yeah, yeah, chalk and cheese. Yeah. Karen is smiling. Take that, Mr. Winter. And she hasn't seen her huge new living area yet. So big. Oh, look. Oh, the skylight. <laughs> <laughs> That's just going to melt an amazing light into here. I'm glad that you share my love of skylights. Even on a gloomy day like today, you can tell how much light they're going to bring into the house. Yeah. This is really good, this area. I don't know what that silver tongued salesman, Andrew Winter, has been showing you, but <laughs> I would put money on you're not getting this amount of space. No. Nah. <laughs> You've done well there. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't say I was going to love it. <laughs> yeah, you do love it. You do. I know she loves it. I really wanted to demonstrate to you that the house that you wanted could be here. Oh, it's a different house, Karen. It is. It's a different house. It is. Andrew, where are you? <laughs> 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 Andrew can't help you now, Karen. I'm going to let them take a look around their new old home. I think today might just be a game changer. Oh, this is bigger than what I thought as well. Look at the light coming through that window. I know. This is a good size. Yeah. Tiles look good. They do. That's good. Yeah. Could this mean I've got Karen leaning towards Team Love It? <laughs> Neil's done an amazing job in there. It's going to be interesting. <laughs> After that Edith Vale property, I'm pretty sure I have this in the bag. 
just to be sure, I want to give them one more option. With excitement for Karen and familiarity for Paul. And, did I mention, no maintenance. So, what now, <laughs> Andrew? <laughs> <laughs> OK, we are heading into the thick of the traffic and into your new city life. Oh, OK. OK. Oh, I've got to give it to you. You're pulling out some stops here. Sunshine Coast, <laughs> the city. Boy, Andrew. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, it's my girl. Let's go. Paul and Karen love the stylish beachside duplex in Edith Vale, but I've upped the game with a surprise choice. There might not be surf where we're going, but it is next to water and wine bars. Docklands is a buzzing hub of restaurants, cafes and apartment developments. $1.8 million is the median price here, but this property is out of the box. I have well and truly left the suburbs behind. Yes. The place we're going to look at <laughs> is this. OK which happens to be <laughs> a three-storey townhouse with its own private entrance. It is a proper house in the middle of the city. OK. <laughs> <laughs> You're done. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Do you want to see inside? Absolutely. <laughs> This townhouse is a bit of a wild card, but it is a stylish wild card. Four bedrooms and three bathrooms ready to fill with visitors, stunning living and dining areas, and multiple outside spaces. Here we go, you two. Welcome right to your yeah. new home. <laughs> OK. <laughs> this is us. Yeah, it's up there. <laughs> Can I start with the ceiling height? which is followed through all three floors, soaring ceilings, big windows, and abundance of light. And look, in the middle of the city, look at all that greenery you can see. Wow. This is not a bad space. So okay. No, it is, is it? Ready, to, ready for an explore? Yeah, absolutely. Well, why don't you start looking on this level, and I'll then meet you at the top on the master. OK. Enjoy. Good, right. thanks. Remember thanks. positive thinking. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Even Neil would have to agree this property is Lifestyle Plus. Two low-maintenance courtyards, wraparound balconies, all topped off with a roof terrace with city views. It's not a lot of storage. Everything's True. here. You, we yeah. can just go out. There's a supermarket literally across the road. A lot of stairs, can Yeah, there is. <laughs> <laughs> but those stairs are leading them to something special goes all the way across. Three decent-sized bedrooms, one that looks perfect for Paul's music room. That's actually a good layout. It is a good layout. A big bathroom for all those visitors from the suburbs. But wait, there's more. The third floor with a beautiful ensuite and huge master has Paul really clutching at straws. No, nah, it's no good. It's got too many cushions. <laughs> <laughs> and look at the size of this balcony. Ah, there you are. I was just checking with the agent to make sure it was still for sale. <laughs> <laughs> and it is. And it is. <laughs> That's the good news. I brought you to a full-on urban location. I actually like the area. It's got a lot of, lot of pluses. There yes. is one negative. There's a lot of up and down stairs. Yeah. That's the one thing. You've got a steep drive. You've got steps down to the pool, steps downstairs, and all that maintenance. This is actually pretty easy. It's a few very easy flights of stairs. Okay. Tricky bit now. Um, any ideas on what the price is? Bear in mind, this is bang in the middle of everything. I reckon probably 2 1. So I'll say 1.9. OK. Ready? Yeah. 1.595 to 1.65. Oh, oh, I was going to say, say something buy it? naughty. No. <laughs> I'm pretty good, actually, aren't I? Yeah, yeah. rightio. <laughs> this, is, this is ganging up here. Like, that's food for thought. All right. No, you've done well. I have done oh, very yeah, good. You you've done well, yeah. Yeah. really well. You carry on and have a look around a bit more. I'm just going to speak to the agent <laughs> again, all right? OK. This was an absolute winner. Did you see their reactions? They couldn't get enough of it. <laughs> I've got to say, I'm surprised. Yeah. I didn't know an area like this existed in Docklands. Neither did I. Yep, it's just the stairs. Stairs schmears. Uh. <laughs> Andrew is such a bad winner. 
I really hope to win this one. I'm just not ready for gloating. Look at you soaking up the rays. Shh. Beachside location is the way forward for Karen Paul's next stage of life. Two of the properties I've shown them were beachside areas, and they love them. And quite rightly, too, it's the right move for them. And I have created paradise in their home. I mean, I even took Karen and Paul to Queensland to show them options. I heard about that. I don't that. consider it cheating. It is totally cheating. Hey. Says you who took them out Excuse for food. Me. And oh. I didn't take them out for food. I took them out for wine. Well, that's even worse. I didn't even use alcohol. <laughs> anyway, we better go and see what decision they've made, which, of course, will be the right one. Really? Now? Yes, now. Come on. I've got matching shorts, I see. Oh, OK. <sighs> I think might get changed. Paul and Karen's house was completely underutilised. We could have spent double our $130,000 budget and still be short of a complete renovation. But by picking our battle on the top level where they do all their living, I think we've transformed the feel of the entire house. Hello. The big Hello. day is here! Yeah. It is, it is. It is finally the day for me to show you your luxury resort-style home. <laughs> what he means is he swapped the living and bedrooms around. That's what you Andrew. actually mean. Andrew, <laughs> off you go. Well, what am I going to do around here? That's your problem. <laughs> Don't forget me. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Come on, guys. <laughs> Bit of a drum roll at this point. Yeah. Bit of a ta-da moment. Just a little surprise. This is beautiful. <laughs> that looks pretty cool. It looks beautiful. The fireplace. I wasn't too. expecting that. <laughs> Modern Hamptons. It's gorgeous. <laughs> wow. Karen. I've never known you both be so speechless. <laughs> By flipping the floor plan, we've created a luxurious space, perfect for lifestyle living and retirement entertaining. The outlook, once hidden in the bedroom, is now available to the entire living area. I can't believe that the room was, like, was about to be. <laughs> yeah, it was <laughs> tiny. It was not far past the time. The way you used to have to push around each other. And the light coming through. Let's talk about the way that the feature wall at the end matches the splashback yeah. in the kitchen. So you've got that perfect symmetry now between the two opposite ends of the living space. It, it really complements the kitchen. It does. Is it what you imagined? Um, more, more. I, I didn't see this one coming. More's good. More's good. I'm happy with more. <laughs> when it comes to a large space like this, more comes in the details. Everything from the fireplace to the wall sconces works together to create a relaxing, high-end resort feel. The skylights? Yes! <laughs> and that hall is beautiful. I mean, it's, it's just opened everything up. The impact. Well, you're going to make this a bit of a challenge, aren't you? That was always <laughs> my intention. Yeah. Yeah, it's just totally different. Totally different place. Yeah. Should we go and have a look at the master bedroom? Oh, yes, yeah, I forgot about that. Tour continues. <laughs> By pushing out a wall in an underused living room, we've created a private and inviting master suite. <laughs> Whoa. I promised you a luxury hotel suite. It's a lot bigger than what I thought it was going to be. Yeah. I mean, look, the proportions of the space we were working with were always going to guarantee a generous master bedroom. This is going to be a beautiful room to wake up in. We've upped the luxury factor in this master by integrating subtle colour, soft furnishings and the room's stunning original features. That's what gives this room its character. Yeah. We haven't seen a master bedroom with this much character. No. <laughs> it feels big and grand, doesn't it? He's doing it again. <laughs> I am doing it again and I'm loving it. Yeah. <laughs> And don't forget, you have got a generous walk-in robe and a generous ensuite bathroom to go and have a look at. I keep sort of flicking my eyes that way. That was pretty good. <laughs> now, go and have a look at both of those spaces okay. and then, regrettably, I have to send you off to have a chat with Andrew. OK, that's good. <laughs> it's not good. There's nothing good about it, Karen, but you've got to do it. <laughs> wow, this is bigger than what I thought. I mean, it's really pretty, too. And the tile, oh, look yeah. at the, what do you call them? Kit Kat or? Kit Kat, yeah. Yeah, beautiful.
This is it now? This is the time? <laughs> Make the right decision? Well, Neil has done an amazing job. Yeah, it's a totally different home. It is. Well, slightly different. Obviously, I'm trying to persuade you to join Team Listed, but I'm not going to knock Neil, because thank you very much, Mr Witters. You have done a lovely job and should help the sales. Job done. <laughs> <laughs> job done. There you go. Oh, we'll finish then. <laughs> so, figure-wise, before we started this process, the agents were saying the value sat in around the 1.7 mark. Mm -hmm. Now, you spent about 150000 with Neil. The agents are now saying an average of around 1.9. Mm -hmm. So, you've got your money back, plus a little bit, which actually, over the short term in a fairly flat market like this, that's, that's not bad. So, well done, Neil. Mm -hmm. I'm going to let you have your ponder, mm -hmm. have your think. Mm -hmm. All I can say now is make sure you get it right and stay with Team Lister. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> So, here we are. I'm trying to hear. Here we are. <laughs> trying to get a bit closer. This is the hard part. Hmm, it is. Neil's done an amazing job. Like, it succeeded everything that I thought the house could be. Mm. I think uh, the places we've seen, yes, they were different, they were interesting, but I think this home does it for us now. I really do. Upstairs and downstairs now. But I know what you're saying. You want a, the next adventure. Aren't you? Together. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got to do it together. <laughs> Stop that. Ooh. A bit of emotion going on there, a bit of the old uh, waterworks. It's a big decision. It is. You're always making people cry, Neil. All of you are blocking Karen's dream. I'm not blocking anyone's dream. No. It's, it's our journey, okay, together. So, so we had to come up with a call. We have. Mm, that's, that's all good options, isn't it? I think so. Karen and Paul, it's the moment of truth. Can I just say, on behalf of Andrew and me... Yes? ..you have been an absolute joy to work with. Thank you. It's been fun. It has. And you know what? Whatever decision you make oh, well, is the right one. You were doing so well until you got to that <laughs> bit. I like you too, a lot. Stop. <laughs> Spoil the moment, don't you? <laughs> yes, I do. It's been very positive. I've loved every minute of it. I have had a blast and it's been an interesting journey. We've seen some great properties which open my thinking and what's been done with this house has completely transformed it. It's quite scary, cos I, I was quite confident, but now I'm not so confident. <laughs> we actually have no idea. <clears throat> I thought no I idea. did, but now I don't. Go on, then. Let's ask the question. So, Karen and Paul, are you going to love it? Or, Karen and Paul, are you going to list it? Do you want to do the honours? Neil and Andrew. Yes. We're going to list it. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> I'm very happy. No, so sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, Neil. <laughs> I really am. I said to you just a few minutes ago, whatever decision you make is the right one. But I'm just curious, what, what swayed you finally? When we came back to see the house, that threw me for six, cos I wasn't expecting to see how amazing it looked. But then I stood back and I thought, it's not the lifestyle change that I thought that we should go on. And it was a chapter that I wanted my husband, my best friend, to come with me on. We still don't know exactly where and what. In the meantime, we can love this beautiful home. Yes. And then take our time to see what's next. Well, I'm very happy to know that you're going to love it even for a little while. Yeah. You hang on to that, Neil. Yeah, I'm hanging on to that. I'm hanging on to that. As a loser, you need to hang on to that. <laughs> this has shown us what path to take. So it's been very, very positive. Can't wait to see what the next chapter's going to be. We don't know what it is, but uh, that's part of the fun. Just yeah. seeing what it is, you know. 
No, 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 not this one. <laughs> not this one? <laughs> Bollocks. Just another Monday morning at work. Endless layers. It's like an onion, this gag. Let's go into the bedroom. Oh, okay, we're ready. Excuse me, it's not that sort of show. It's not a yoga program. <laughs> okay, cut. We're done. <laughs> <laughs>